Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to uh, Arm and Truck TV. Uh, sounds weird to say, but it's kind of sweet. Um, so, real quick, um, I was coming home uh, late last night uh, in the old red bomber here, and the uh, um, engine light. It's kind of weird to see, anyway, the way the steering wheel is to kind of see, you know, the the idiot light that lights up for the engine light. And uh, I kind of noticed it would kind of just kind of come on and go away, and then kind of a little bit. And so I was like, man, what in the hell could that be? And then I realized it's been like two weeks since I've checked the oil. Now, a good rule of thumb for these old diesel trucks is if there's no oil under them, there's no oil in them. Um, so I, you know, I was not in a spot where I could stop either. So I had to go about 10 miles um, like that. And I pulled off and yeah, she was, she was low, like real low. So... I put six quarts in it. Um, I mean, it, it ran fine. I didn't, I, I didn't, I can't hear anything in there anyway, but it didn't seem like there was a big, uh, big deal. So I'm going to check it again here and uh, get on the road. We have another problem that we need to uh, figure out what it is and dissect. Another annoying issue. So let me pop the hood here and check my things out and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I don't know if you can see it. Focus. Focus. It's not going to focus. So six quarts got it to... Man, why is it not focusing on there? Whatever. So it's halfway up the hash mark. So you got your hash and your full. Whatever. So six quarts got it there. So she was just about empty. Um, yeah. No, that's, that's crazy. It's crazy it didn't lock up. Like, so we're going to fire it up here. It's been sitting... Um, since last night, we'll do a little cold start action here and uh, see if it has any weird noises. I want to bet my neighbors absolutely hate me. And yes, I have not ran an air cleaner in months. <laughs> I guess I could put that back on. But it's fine. light on but it's like right here and it was kind of faintly illuminated but the other issue we're having it might have a little bit of a new noise going on but i can't really tell i'm not really worried about it <laughs> um so oh there's some left m in here so this is the issue i noticed um last big snow we had i couldn't get this thing to engage in a four high so first there's a lot of slop in this so it should be over here, one click back before high, and I'm getting nothing. And now I can actually go over. Okay. Now we have four wheel and four high. So I only have four high. So that should be neutral. But then I can go straight, <laughs> I can go all the way through. There's like no gate. weird so I think it's just a linkage issue because you can look at we can we can look down in there oh yeah I still haven't cleaned out the mess in here but so I believe that's just loose and wonky so 
So that's on the list of things to get fixed. All right, so I have to run to the property and figure out where I'm going to be putting in my calf hutches uh, for the feeder calves. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, here this morning. Um, this thing is a mess. I probably should clean it, but I don't know about you guys, but when I have a vehicle, I'm not particularly... <laughs> if I have a vehicle, I don't really care. I don't really care that much about this thing. I got it super cheap, and it's just been kind of... I just mess with it so that's why the oil thing and whatever I'm not worried about it it runs good it's a 7.3 I mean that thing is just gonna keep going anyway um, but it gets super messy in here because I just don't care um, but we're gonna go to the, the farm we're gonna kind of look at some spots um, to put up these calf hutches somewhere out of the wind somewhere well ventilated and kind of get my plan going for that because I'm expecting a bottle caps here within the next week or so so we got to be prepared we got to buy some things we got to make some things so I hope everybody's excited. So I'm gonna cut it here and I'm gonna get over there. All right, man. Well, try again. Get a picture of the cow, it's, it's licking itself. Oh yeah, there we go. Grooming. You know, this spot will be great. This will work perfect. Right in here. All right, so I'm just gonna wait for the guy to call and then I'll let you know, give you a heads up. Okay. See where you're at. Cause I know you'd be probably working when it happens cause I'll have to do it after. Oh yeah, yeah, then more than likely. Yeah, I'll probably be having to work in the dark since it gets dark at five o'clock. That's a joy. It's always a joy. But yeah, I think this is a great space. And all these trees here and everything, I'll keep, yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Way better than just like out there somewhere. Yeah, and the only concern is like when we do get a warm front that comes through, mm -hmm. the wind will usually come out of the, uh, the southwest here. Okay. And it'll come up. But if you have the straw bales up here, I don't think it's gonna be much. No, and they're pretty hardy, you know, and yeah. And like I said, I think that once you get the initial four, I think the rest after that for a while, I'll be just selling anyway. All right. You know. Good. And it'd be nice to go to the auction. I like going to the auction anyway. Yeah. Just hanging out with my, the old timers. Yeah, my <laughs> wife wants to go because she's never been. What? She's never been. Let's go. There. Yeah, she, she's like, I just want to go check it out. I'm like, it's cool to kind of yeah. walk oh, around yeah. the, the uh, viewing area. You can just mm -hmm. see everything yeah, from up see top. everything. But then you get a good idea of why you don't buy certain animals mm -hmm. at the auction, especially calves. Because yep. they get sick. Yep. It's like animals and kennel cough. Yep. Yeah, no, this looks good. Cool. Will work? All right. So, uh, sorry there wasn't much video there. Um, we kind of talked inside for a while. Kind of, uh, I was letting know my game plan. Uh, so, I just kind of showed you the trail on there where we we're going to uh, actually put the calf hutches so I'm going to be picking those up here hopefully in the next few days and I will be cutting them and building them I'm sure there's a ton of videos on how to do it but I'll show you how I'll do it and then we're going to attach some uh, um, bottle hangers on there and some other stuff but uh, yeah that's that's going to kind of conclude this video for today it's kind of short but I just wanted to try to keep that content up and let everyone know it's here I don't even know if you can hear me right now truck is incredibly loud um but uh yeah i hope everyone's having a great day i hope you're looking forward to the uh the new content the new channel here um i'm excited and uh yeah i'm just looking forward to what comes next and over the next uh a few months here so again uh like comment subscribe and uh i'll see you on the next one